So I start with a sketch that I have done on paper that I've brought into the computer um, and I've upped the resolution to um, about 4800 by whatever the other side is. Um, and I have pulled a palette from a piece of art that I liked. I take pictures of art that I see that I like the color combinations on and use that as a sort of starting point in coloring a piece. Um, right now you can see me sort of, the face was really well sketched out, the body was um, sort of implied more than actually drawn, so uh, what I'm doing right now is sort of feeling out how I want her shoulders uh, to be um, struggling a little bit with the uh, uh, with the scale. Um, and now I am messing with filters to get the colors to a place that I think is interesting. And starting to go in and uh, do some line work over um, basically the basic colors and the really rough sketch. Um, just trying to define uh, the features and clean up some of the proportions that are off, colors that are off, stuff like that. I usually start with the face. Um, it's the most important part of the drawing. I like to work out at um, full size, especially in this early part. It helps you see sort of how the entire piece is going to work, um, how the light works, whether your attention is drawn to the places you want attention drawn, how your proportions are working. Right now I can see that the, the body is too thin and the skin is too pale on her face. A lot of what I do, if I don't have a sketch that's really working for me, is almost like sculpture. I'm basically going in here and constructing a body and then deciding what I'm going to do with it. Just building it out. A lot of this video is me uh, just trying to make the proportions on the body work with the head. Um, and even like this skin that I am molding essentially, I am using that just as a way of building the body, which I will then put clothes over. I'm just trying to add some color variation into the face. Um, it's too flat. So there's some blue and purple now. In addition to the pink for the cheeks and lips. It is still too pale. Working with a soft brush to help blend colors together right now. With a rare exception, I mostly just work with the normal round brush, either set to hard or soft. Um, now I'm just trying to get the colors of the face um, a little bit less desaturated and a little less um, bright.
Just working on details, trying to define shadows and highlights. That's when I quit the program and came back into it. Um, so I'm working with, with the piece again. I always keep a copy of the original sketch. I want to make sure that I am uh, staying true to whatever the feeling in the, the sketch was that I responded to you. So I'm putting, laying the sketch over and adjusting the proportions of the body back to match the sketch using the liquify tool. Um, and also trying to make sure that the proportions work, look believable. Um, and then since I've messed with it all, I'm coming back in and redefining the basic color lay down. I've um, deciding to incorporate the sketch back into the drawing to get some of those lines back. Now I'm defining the eyes again, going in with highlights, shadows. Trying to make the expression on the lips work. Smoothing the skin out, bringing the colors. I often start with way too much contrast, and so uh, pulling that contrast down a little bit. I've gone too far with the eyes, they're too bright for the shadow that they're in, which I'll fix in a minute. Um, and the face is looking a little plastic. I often flip the canvas horizontally um, to make sure the proportions look right. It's a good trick for sort of breaking your conception of the piece long enough to see what you've done why it doesn't work or whatever. I'm trying to tweak the features of my face here with the liquify tool. Mostly you're seeing me stop and restart multiple times. Trying to get it exactly right. It's difficult to keep the things that you really like about the piece. So I'm just comparing what I've done um, uh, the best change is that the nostril has gotten really good <laughs> I'm really happy with the nostril the lips are looking much better um, I've used I've um, made the, uh, the eyes a lot less bright that's helped significantly as well so I'm just going back in and redefining that with some contrast. Um, really trying to pull out the architecture of the face. Put in highlights around the nose, the chin, shadows on the cheeks, just above the nostril. Working again with a soft brush here get smooth skin. Um, and this is all paint. I don't use the smudge tool. This is all done with a brush. The question is just whether the brush is hard or soft. I pull most of the colors that I'm using from the piece itself. You see that I haven't used the palette in a long time. The palette was just sort of a starting point. It will come back when I'm finishing up the piece. 
And right now I'm trying to pull some of that pink, but it's not in her skin. Back down, and again, trying to fix the anatomy of her upper body. Now I'm frustrated, so I'm going to just turn it all into skin to see if I can make it look right. And then put clothes back over it. Trying to fix the hair so it actually looks like it's coming out of her head. Um, a lot of this is just trying to determine light sources. Working with the soft brush. Um, it doesn't always look great, but since I have terrible vision, it um, <laughs> looks sort of like how things look when I don't have my glasses on. And that's uh, kind of helpful for me to see like the way light works in a piece. Um, the light in this piece is less complicated than I usually work with. There's basically a fill light and the implication of a key, um, basically where the camera is. Um, maybe a backlight, but I like there to be another I usually work with like an additional light source to create some highlights, um, some more highlights than there are, but um, I guess I, I was just really responding to the way this was turning out like this, so there's just sort of the one main uh, key. This is mostly just me trying to determine, uh, again, the body shape, and then the hair was too thick. Now what I'm doing is I'm making sure the eyes are parallel. They were a little bit, uh, one was a little higher than the other, so I just rotated the body to make them even. It's given the piece a little bit more of a stiff feeling, um, but it's made it easier for me to see the proportions now what I'm doing is just working on developing the background a little bit. Um, I use a brush that I've downloaded. Um, it's part of a set that was recommended by Loish. Um, it's just, it's meant to look like, um, I think like tree cover, but I use it just to give a good um, sponge feeling to the back. Uh, now I'm messing with the selective color tool just um, trying to get the colors exactly where I want them. I like the shadows to have sort of a, a redder feeling, which is what I've just done, and just upping the contrast a little bit and uh, um, trying to make it a little bit more of a cohesive feel to the piece. Um, you can see that increasing the shadows and making them redder has really taken some of the super high contrast from the light and also given more of a photorealistic feeling to her face. Um, and all of that I'm just doing by feel. It's not... I have things that I know that I'm going to try and see if I like, but uh, there's just sort of nothing that... It's, it's not a specific tactic. It's just... Uh, just an approach, really. Uh, right now I'm going in and defining the hair, cleaning it up a little, um, putting in some strands, lightening some of the shadows, um, putting in some more highlights. Getting rid of a little bit of the sketchy lines that are in there. But leaving some of them because they get they give some textural feel to the hair that I like. Um, I'm just trying to sharpen up some of the, the lines so that the face doesn't feel so much more finished than the other stuff around it. Trying to keep the movement in the hair more or less the same, cleaning up the edges.
I'm uh, using from that same brush set, which I will figure out what the name of and post in the comments or description, uh, using a skin pour brush, um, which is a little bit heavy handed, so I usually go in and use it and then soften it, either by dropping the opacity or setting it as a soft light or both, um, but it does some nice textural work. I also use the snow um, brush from that same brush set to to give some texture to skin. Um, right now I'm just uh, trying to soften the hair a little bit. It feels really high contrast. Um, lots of things in there that I really like before I settled on. Just uh, lowering the saturation a bit. Um, I liked the orange hair. I have the pink hair. But, and the white hair. I liked all the hair. Um, but I went with this one because it looked a little bit more natural than it had looked before. Um, obviously I'm not doing photorealistic pieces in terms of proportion and features, but um, it seemed to really work with the rest of the piece. Uh, and right now I'm just working on sort of finishing touches. I've put a gradient over it and just trying to give more of a sense of light. And finishing up some rough spots that were left in there and signing it.